So, <clears throat> so what you're saying, Seth, is that um, when I feel good about myself, then it'll be easy for me to lose weight. Right. Uh -huh. So, um, feeling good about yourself, is that something you can control? Sure. I think so. It's in your control. I mean, I know certain times in my life when I dieted, I knew that I had to, didn't have to eat because I wasn't hungry. Right. But there were certain periods of life when I just felt bored or felt like having something sweet. 100%. So, so when you feel bored, then you want something sweet. I get that. And when you feel good about yourself, then it's easy for you to lose weight. Right. I get that. So, <clears throat> um, how will you know uh, that you're beginning to feel good about yourself? What new behaviors will you notice? What new thoughts might you have or new feelings? Usually, I find that when I do exercise, I feel good. So, usually, after the exercise, or after I started doing exercise, I feel much better. I just feel happy, energized. Great. You so you feel happy and energized. I don't have that craving for sugar. And you don't have that craving for sugar. So, when, when you start to see yourself exercising, then you'll know that you're starting to feel good about yourself. Yeah, definitely. Great. Great. What kind of exercise do you see yourself doing? We have a treadmill at home. I do the treadmill. Uh, I used to do the treadmill. Half hour a day. And Half hour a day. Somebody told me that it helps with depression. Right, sure. That's a very common occurrence that the physical activity releases endorphins. Yeah, sure. You know, which are natural painkillers. Absolutely. So... Um, and do you listen to music while you're on the treadmill? Do you watch TV? Yes, I listen to I watch t well I listen to the music that's on the TV or I have it on my phone. I put a station on and I listen to. Great. How else? What what new thoughts will you have about yourself or new emotions will you have about yourself or new behaviors that will indicate to you that you're beginning to feel good about yourself? Usually, um, positive thinking. Is one of the things. Um, so, what positive thoughts? When you have these positive thoughts, you'll know that you're beginning to think, feel good. Um, kind of positive thoughts. Well, I usually think that I can do it. I can lose weight. I don't have to eat out of emotion, from emotion. Um, you're saying I can do it. And I can lose weight. Lose weight. When you say I can do it, what do you mean? What are you saying to yourself about yourself? Basically, that, that I have the confidence in myself to go ahead and lose weight. I just, I just feel it's like somebody saying, "Bring it on!" Right. So when you begin to say, "I'm confident in myself," it sounds a little bit like you're saying that I trust myself. Basically. Basically. So when you say that I trust myself, um, that, I, uh, that I can do it. So when you see yourself start to exercise, and when you see yourself saying to yourself, you know, I can trust myself. Yeah. I can do this. Um, I have the confidence that I can actually lose this weight. Right. Then you'll know that you're starting to feel good about yourself. Right. Great. What else? What else will you feel... What new emotions will you have about yourself that will, or new behaviors or new thoughts that will prove to you that you're beginning to feel good about yourself? Well, it also helps that there's somebody there who's motivating me or pushing me to do it. Uh -huh. um, and how will that happen, that you'll have someone there that's motivating you? It will just it will make, help me feel that I'm not alone. There's somebody out there who's saying... You can do it. You'll, you can lose weight. So how is this person going to appear in your life? This person that's going to motivate you. The person that's going to make you feel that you're not alone. How's that going to happen? Well, that person 
right now is you. Is me. And how was, so we're, we're meeting on a weekly basis, but I'm assuming that you're going to have these food cravings in between. So how, how am I going to know that right now you need support or you... Well, either I'm going to call you or I'm going to actually picture you there with me 24-7 or whenever I get the craving. So when you say you're going to call me, so one of the new behaviors could be that I'm going to ask for the help that I need. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, right. And so when I start to ask for the kind of behaviors, when I, excuse me, when I start to ask for the help that I need, that'll, be, that'll show me that I'm starting to feel good about myself. Okay, so for right now, I, I want us to transition into a different way. We just were to do the, what we did now, we're just going to do it a different kind of way. Okay? Mm-hmm. And this involves you closing your eyes. Mm-hmm. Is that okay? So just close your eyes. And I just want you to imagine um, <clears throat> when do you want to start feeling good about yourself? You want that to happen within a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, two months? When do you want that to start happening? To be honest, as soon as possible. As soon as possible, okay? So change in our life, we want it to happen as soon as possible. Let's be realistic. When do you want to think it's going to start happening, that you're going to start feeling good about yourself? As soon as I decide I'm going to do exercise. Uh Uh-huh. So as soon as you see yourself starting to exercise, you know that you're going to start feeling good about yourself. Yes, definitely. Okay, I got that. And and when is that going to happen? Uh, I was going to start doing it today, actually. Okay. So, how about if we just give ourselves a little time, like a little week, okay? If you can keep your eyes closed, it'll be better for the exercise, Uh okay? So, I want you to imagine that a week, a week into the future, and you've started to exercise, Mm -hmm. and you've started to feel good about yourself, Mm -hmm. and you can see yourself exercising, and you're happy, and you're energized, you're on the treadmill for half a day, for half an hour a day, mm-hmm. possibly listening to your phone or music on the TV. And while you're on the treadmill exercising, you also have positive thoughts about yourself. I could do it. I can lose the weight. I have the confidence. I trust myself. And while you're on the treadmill working out, do you also say to yourself, you know what, if I need help, I call people. Mm-hmm. Maybe I call Yoshua. Maybe I call other people. Mm-hmm. So a week has passed, and you're seeing in your imagination these changes. Mm-hmm. How does that feel? see those changes in your life. Very good. Very good. Great. And what's the kind of impact that these changes are having on your life? Um, I'm not craving sugar as much as I was. Right. I'm not, I just feel, what's the word? Invincible? I don't know if it's invincible. I just feel like I can do Wow. Anything, anything I want. I can feel like I can do anything I want. I love a challenge. I right. love challenge. And I love a challenge. Right. And how does this impact your family life? Um, they support me. They see that I'm losing weight. I mean, they see that I'm much right. more positive. They, so they see you're positive and they encourage you. Uh-huh. And, and now that you're feeling good about yourself, how does that impact your your financial standing or your career? Basically, I can do anything. Basically, I I can do anything. I can work. I can study. I can work. I can study. And um, are there any other advantages to you starting to feel good about yourself? Um, None that I can think of. Um, are there any disadvantages to you feeling good about yourself? No. No. When I feel good about myself, I just 
feel I can get out of the rut or get out of what I am. No, feel no pain. Right. No depression. Right. And call your Hoshu and say, I'm doing it. What do you think? Get a positive feedback. Right. And um, it, do you lose anything by starting to feel good about yourself? No, I think I gain. You gain. Do you cause any damage to yourself or other people? If no. You? No. I don't think so. So in your imagination, a week has gone by, the week has passed, and you see yourself that you're exercising, and you're starting to feel good about yourself. And from that place of success, a week has passed, what advice do you give yourself today in order to start feeling good about yourself? To start exercising, to get up, get ready, do, do something, not just lay back and watch the world go by. Right, wow. And so I just want you to take a moment right now, and if you want, you can relax. And just to feel how good that's going to feel. That in your imagination, a week has gone by, and you're starting to feel good about yourself. And you see yourself exercising. You see yourself on the treadmill, a half hour a day. You see yourself with positive thoughts about yourself. I can do it. I can lose weight. I have the confidence. I trust myself. I don't feel alone. If I need help, I call. And the advice you give yourself is start. Do it. Mm -hmm. Don't let just the world pass by. And how does it feel to imagine all of that? Feels good. Feels good. Feels great. Feels great. A little bit of a smile there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know that it's in your control, and that slowly it'll begin to happen. Mm -hmm. And slowly, the more positive you are with yourself, the easier it's going to be to work out. <coughs> yeah. The easier it's going to be for you to ask for help. The easy it's going to be for you to lose weight. And with the knowledge that you are starting down the path of permanent weight loss, with the knowledge you're starting down the path of becoming free from emotional eating, you can feel all of those good feelings. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you can open your eyes. <coughs> I think I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well done. Yep. Well done. Okay. <coughs>